Hastily walking to Madame Gazelle's home with her hood up, you realize you've never actually been there before. Thankfully, you've already memorized her address from all the letters she sent you. Of course, even if you didn't know her address already, you'd certainly be able to recognize the place. An elaborate, fashionable Rococo building sits back from the street and behind a gate. The windows are shrouded by gauzy black curtains. It's like somebody modeled the building on her. You go to knock on the gate, but it opens before you can touch it. Looking around, expecting a sort of specter, you notice Mademoiselle's servant, René. Especially to notice he's no longer wearing his black armband. With a thin smile, he waves you in and leads you beyond the gate into the house. No tour is provided, but you stroll through the dining room and the salon towards the garden in the back. You're offered a glass of wine, an impressively dusty bottle, which you take. It's simply nice to be prepared. You arrive in the gardens, which are filled with a combination of blooming roses and lilies. The scent is almost overwhelming. Renee indicates Madame Gazelle, who is waiting in a shea lounge at the center of the garden. A table is set up next to her, draped in a black sheet. She hasn't noticed you. He bows and begins to dismiss himself. Uh, help me get something special first. He widens as you produce the black satin out that she gave you long ago. So back inside, and while his help isn't as quick as Camille's or as sensual as Madame Gazelle's, you find yourself dressed and looking as amazing as ever. Back in the garden, she's waiting on her shady lounge, reading by a lantern amongst the flowers, a single spot of sumptuous dark and a halo of light. They step out of darkness, appearing suddenly appearing before her, dressed in the vision of what she imagined for you. <laughs> for once, in all the time you've known her, you've truly caught her off guard. Her eyes drink you in deeply and hungrily as she stalks towards you. You, my darling Yvette, are a vision. That you would even think to... She trails off, holding the edge of your midnight-colored skirt between her thumb and forefinger. I'm going to check a thing quick, because I have a feeling here. Well, the good thing is, at a cautionary glance, there doesn't seem to be anything coming up in searches for anything that'll get me into trouble on Twitch. If there is, I will tab out quickly. Marvelous. You've gained quite a bit of favor with Madame Gazelle. Your timing is impeccable as always. I have a very important meeting tomorrow, which will consume a lot of my time in the near future. But let's focus on tonight, she purrs. After all, I finally have you all to myself. I have to ask, what brought you here? Why come at all? The last one's a terrible answer. The middle one she'd like? I'm not sure if she'd like the bottom one. Or the, the, the top one, I mean. Pushing past you, she plucks a lily and places it in your hair. Huh. And a little favor. As your eyes open, you see Madame Gazelle is pulling a black sheet from the tables, revealing a series of items. Your eyes focus on lengths of sturdy black ribbon and riding crop. Glancing around, you realize no windows of any of the neighboring buildings face this garden. Chat. Chat, I might have chosen poorly for a streaming game here.
we're going to do a thing here. I'm going to tell you right now, chat, I'm choosing the middle option. I trust you, but it's new to me, and I'd like to take things slowly. I'm going to turn off the game to make sure it doesn't bite me in the ass. She replies, that is very understandable. I will never ask you to do anything you don't want to. You've gained favor with Madame Gazelle. Okay, this isn't bad. She's getting a little handsy. I may, however, she says, tightening a length of ribbon between her hands, leave you wanting more. I think I saw some something in Steam where it was showing um what was it? I think it was a scene between you and Armand again I am extremely nervous for whatever this game has in terms of its content it's not does it have like a rating Metacritic gave it a 75. Nice. Alright, I'm not seeing anything here that's indicating that this should cross a line on Twitch, which I'm happy for. I'd be lying if I said this current development wasn't worrying me a little bit. We shall see, chat. Alright. It's a confusing night, but it feels good. Ba, 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 ba. Two of you are so caught up in your play together you don't leave the garden. Hours later you're exhausted, sore, and consumed by heady bliss. Okay, yeah, you you one hundred percent fuck the S and M widow. I am going to Wake up in the middle of the night. Madame Gazelle is asleep next to you, snoring slightly. Stay with her. Her servant brings us breakfast. My darling Yvette. Oh, she brought us a letter, so I think it's fine now. My darling Yvette, I'm sorry I'm gone, but I had to leave for an important meeting. Sometimes business truly does come before pleasure. I wanted to say that last night was amazing. I look forward to playing with you again. To be honest, I never thought I'd be able to trust someone again the way I trust you now. Love, Madame Gazelle. You gained a lot of favor with Madame Gazelle. Fine. Mistress of Command, complete the storyline of Madame Gazelle, the Wealthy Widow. 